Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tadai Ma Terrace House Podcast, your weekly companion to your favorite show on Netflix. I'm Robert Scarpinito, and I'm joined here by Daily Wilhelm. Konbanwa. Jack Cepeda. Yurasha Masse. And Colin Sparling. Hello, everybody. Hope you and yours are doing well. Same here. Uh, today, we are talking about Boys and Girls in the City. And we're at the point we we are in the end game, y'all. You know, this is it. The Marvel movie. Mr. Game. Strange has once Wait, said. As Mr. <laughs> Dr. Strange Man would say. That guy went to college, game, right? Not for you to call him Mr. Okay. <laughs> Wait, when's the uh, five year when's the five year time Strange skip happening? Son. It's happened. It wait. Are you still living in the past, Colin? Whoa. What what? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, we're in the end game. So if you haven't seen all the boys and girls in the city yet, probably do that because we're kind of we're talking about a lot of different things that happened in the last 10 or so episodes. But we're we're going to be covering the end. Like, we're just going to assume blanket statement here. You know, everything that happens. Well, te- technically, we're talking in a, in a time skip, right? Because everything in the show that happens was like three years ago. I think you're thinking too hard about this. I'm confused. Stop bringing in time travel. We're, we're, yeah. we're here. We're now. We're live. We're talking Terrace House. We're doing we're the show we want to do. And damn it, this week, we want to talk about Misaki and Burns. And that's what we're going to do, all right? Yes, okay. we are. Bur- Burns. I can, but can I just say, by the way, Burns' name, Burns' last name, it's spelled strangely to uh, me. Burns. B- B-Y-R. Burns? Burns Hold on. Are you saying you've never seen anyone spell their last name like that? Not well, the only the only family that I knew with Burns as their last name spelled it B-U-R-N-S. And so was like it, very very basic it, spelling. Like I look at it and I read it and Simpsons? I know it says Burns, but then when I <laughs> go and you, type Robert. it when I go and type it myself, it's like I have to think about it. Like, wait, where's the Y go? Where's it's, the R go? It's like, it looks Byrns. like it says it's it's Byrns or Burns. Beerns. Yeah. It's weird. Burns. Okay. Oh, I mean, I just, I just know it is Burns. But yeah, this yeah. week we were talking about <laughs> Misaki and Burns, the couple that everyone knew was going to happen the minute Burns walked into the house. Like, real talk. Let's be honest. That Seriously. He walks in. He's there for about two minutes. And we're like, okay, cool. They're going to get together. GG. We know. Basically. Yeah, that's right. It's pretty, it's yeah. pretty much like love at first sight sort of deal. They were just kind of like, they were just elongating it to get through the formalities, but you knew what was going to happen. Mm-hmm. There didn't it was seem really... like, for me, there didn't seem like there was like a lot of mystery to it. Like, I kind of knew it was going to happen. Like you guys said, it just seemed inevitable, right? Very straightforward. Right. Especially, like, she recognized him from what seemed to me to be like a children's mm-hmm. show. Like, oh, yes. that's right. He was yeah. on, you, were on, too. you were on that show. And he's like, yeah, I was on that show from ages. What was it? He was on there for a while mm-hmm. um, as a kid. And it's like, oh, I thought that was really interesting, especially considering that she's trying to get into the entertainment industry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That almost brings up the idea like I they kind of just bring up the whole thing of him being like a childhood star. And then that's the first and only time and it's never ever brought again. up. Yeah. Never gets brought like, up. One, that's, I mean, I forgot about it until you brought it up daily. Like I was completely forgot about that. Yeah. It's gotta it's be not, really strange to end it's up. It's not a big your, through line through the show. Your, yeah. Right? It's just like, it's just touched on and that's it. And then Rico pin, I think, doesn't she recognize him too? Or something like that. Maybe, I, I, I mean, don't remember that. I don't. Okay. I don't think she did. But even if she did, does it matter? Because no one, like, it, it's not a talking point, really. You know, it, it just like it's there, and it just is. Um, it's not like Masaki dated Burns because he was a childhood. No, he was a child star, right? Also, that would be a very weird motivation, I think, to date anyone. Yeah, that's that's very strange. But mm. also, like, could you imagine dating someone you used to watch? as a kid on TV like and now you're just dating them it's it's so strange and that's the weird thing about Terrace House too is that people are watching them as they're in the house and they know they feel like they know them um, parasocially in a way and then some of them like very few but like some of them will actually go and live in Terrace House after watching them live there for a while that's kind of weird mm-hmm. this was this was one of the first times that I had seen on screen like and we'll talk about it later, I'm sure. But like Burns, like watching the episode with Misaki and uh, Hikaru, 
in Yokohama and like it was just so strange and surreal because it's like Misaki's downstairs and he's like watching this and I almost feel like he's like taking notes yeah, like, yeah the, it, Robert Robert likened it to watching tape in football. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. he was doing. Basically, he's watching like tape. He was pre- yeah, he was preparing himself for the enemy team or something. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I, I, it's it's pretty much what it was. I fully expected at some point for him to pause and like start drawing on the screen, like circles. Right. And, you so know, if you can see the move here, here, and yeah. here. Uh, it wasn't exactly a good one. He should have taken steps here, here, and here. And if he would have had more preparation and actually dressed nicely for the date, it mm-hmm. could have went better. But yeah, uh, we're talking about Misaki Burns. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? Uh, Burns walks into the house. He's the new member. He comes in pretty much hot off the heels of Hansan leaving. You know, we don't even get like, like uh, yeah, you know, we don't even get a like chins and shins shot. It's just bam, there he is, Burns, right? Yeah, I mean, they, they, he was probably high fiving Hansan on the way in. Like it happened so quickly. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, hey, I, I know you want you're Hansan on TV, and then he was like, oh, "You're Burns on TV from when you were younger." And if you and remember, they... <laughs> when Hansan comes back to visit the house with Natsumi, uh, <laughs> Burns is like, "Hey, Hansan, it's been a minute. Like they've Dude, met before." Yeah, I just keep bro- seeing that Spider Man meme where they're pointing at each other. <laughs> 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 Wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, um, he joins the house. We get to learn a little bit about Yuki Burns. He is a crumper. No. Crumping. Okay. Y'all, what year did this come out in? in The year of our Lord, 2015. This man is crumping. 2016. Well, he and he wanted to be like, what like, like, what do you say, Chris Brown, right? His goal in life was to be Chris Brown's backup dancer. (laughs) Did not age well. Nope. Mm. See, no, I thought that, but like it was a comment that didn't age well, but like in that year, in 2016, you know, everyone yeah. fucking knows. No, that's true. That is true. That's so I'm going to f- put put some negative kudo points on Burns for that because it's like, dude, maybe just but pick anyone thing, else. Like, maybe, maybe Chris Brown is the only one looking for crumpers in 2016. <laughs> Oh, and maybe. Like, oh, this is the one move I know. So this is my okay, one shot at going so, pro. Hold on, wait, wait. The do crump you, is not just one move. The crump. I was just saying, <laughs> do you, do y'all know what crumping is? Like, what crump. what is your definition of crumping? I, I honestly, I have no idea. I have a friend name with the last name Crump, so maybe I know he crumps. I don't know. I know what crumping is because I've seen. So you think you can dance? Um, but mm. if I were just come through to this fresh, I would think it sounds like. Some kind of roller device for your lower back. I need to crump my back. <laughs> oh my, my back god! Hurts. Let me hey, crump can you it, ha- Daily. Can you hand me the crumper? I my back is really killing me. <laughs> so, can, can you get me some tea and crumper? Yeah, there it is. Oh, crumpets! Hey, there. Yeah, there you oh, go. Crumpets. Oh, now I want some crumpets. That's where it originated from. What's up, UK? No crumpets. I so no. the interesting thing. The, the interesting thing about the whole crumping thing is like. Usually when you think of a named dance, right? Like when you think tap dancing, right? It's a very specific thing, Yuki Adachi. Um, when you think uh I don't know, the water name sprinkler. literally any of, other okay. You think of like a particular <laughs> dance, right? So when you think crumping, I was like I, I was thinking, is that a particular dance move? Or I didn't know like there was an overarching style of dancing called crumpy because everything he was doing was I thought that was like all different stuff. I don't the know. It, I don't know okay. shit about this stuff. Y'all, I got I got Wikipedia pulled up here. Yes. So, so crumping. Um, there are four basic moves in crump. Stomps, jabs, chest pops, and arm swings. Nice. Crump I, is rarely choreographed. It is almost entirely freestyle and is danced most frequently in battles or sessions rather than on a stage. It's stylistically different from hip hop dances such as break dancing and turfing. It's very aggressive and is danced upright to upbeat and fast paced music. So wait, is this what that dude was? You guys ever seen that clip from that movie that went around for a while where the guy's like, I'm hot. You're not. And oh then he my was god! Like, yeah, and then he was like bu- buffing his chest out and m- moving his arms back and forth. I was like, I wait, so is that crumping? I can't sit here and hate on crumping because, like, in man, I'll tell you, in 2006, that shit was cool as hell. I watched Rise. Uh, it was a documentary on crumping. 
Tommy the Clown yep. in, in California, I want to say. I'm going to get it wrong. But anyways, uh, Crumping, was, there, it had its time. It was cool for a time, and it kind of came and went. But I love watching like really good professional Crumpers, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Burns. I don't know if I could say he's pulling it off for me after like the, the crumping I've seen in my day. So he just doesn't, I don't know if he's got the, the, I don't think he's street enough for it. He just doesn't seem, he seems a little soft for me. To I think you only get like one, maybe two whole clips of him ever dancing too. Yeah. It's not a big part of his, uh, his identity. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's kind of what he does, but it doesn't he work at a restaurant too. Like, isn't he like filling up? Yeah. The he ketchup? works at the burger place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We get more clips there than we ever do him dancing. Totally. That's like, yeah. Yeah, we get that one where he's training with his trainer in that dance. The one time. He has a trainer. He has, right. Yeah, he has and a he's sweating trainer. very profusely and wearing like, what, what, what is that? Is it a poncho? I don't Let's remember exactly what it Let's talk about it, was. man. I don't, there is a word for that I regalia, but the but colors whatever, and what, the stripes. Like, I feel like that's not a great thing to dance in. Don't, like I said, don't know shit about dancing, but can't imagine a big baggy shirt like that. Is great while dancing. I wonder how much for crumpers get paid to crump. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm sensing a lot of negative crump energy <laughs> coming off of this podcast right I now. I like crumping. <laughs> I I I am coming from a place where like I don't feel strongly any which way. I'm more so like I don't. I guess I don't quite understand. That's the thing okay. too. Like if you uh, don't know what crumping is, and and burns is your gateway to it, that's not a good intro. Yeah, okay, I was about to say, at, the, at the risk of sounding ignorant, when I first heard him be like, oh, you know, I crump, I'm like, shut up, you're a dancer, you dance hip hop, that's how you explain it to other people, but for some reason, you have to be like, no, it's specifically crumping, and for me, <laughs> that just translated to, like, having a more masculine or badass way to say, like, oh, I'm a dancer, but yeah, that- I understand that it is its own separate style and that's what he identifies with and there's only four moves like why do you need an instructor like you're not supposed to choreograph it like it's almost like the more you practice it the further away you're getting from the spirit of crumping anyways it's made to be kind of like jazz it's it's free flow it's supposed to be expression coming within you're not supposed to be like hey show me how to crump for 20 minutes well the the thing about it was was when he came initially into the house and he like sits down at the kitchen table and he just casually puts out there like yeah, I'm a crumper. I, I, I do crumping. And everyone just kind of is like, ah, so. They're <laughs> yeah, just like, like cool. they're like, no. very, kind of like Brown. nonplussed about it. They're like, no, I mean, they, they're asking him about it, but they're not like surprised, really. Well, at what he's saying. so Momo, who, by the way, that's probably the only time we're going to talk about her. This is the only, this is right oh. now, probably the only time oh, we're going to talk about her. Oh, Momo. 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 I'm very happy for her. He. Yeah. Uh, she had wins. She was excited. That Burns was a crumper. Crumping is her favorite music dancing style. I just well, outside ballet. Her favorite. Well, what I'm saying is like no one else was like, I have no fucking clue what that what that is. Like, please explain. Well, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It, it was like everyone's like, ah, I know exactly what that is. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I, <laughs> I, I well, definitely don't. <laughs> and then Rico was like, oh, like that band in Exile or whatever. Like. I think people were pretty positively rece- receiving his whole like, yeah, I'm a crumper. Like, okay, cool, good for you. Like, I know what that is, and that's awesome. He crumps. Right. Well, it sounded like you you had an argument for crumping, Robert. Is what you were alluding to. My, my argument for crumping is just why y'all <laughs> gotta be so negative. <laughs> <laughs> why you gotta be so rude? Because that's our <laughs> verbal crumping. <laughs> oh my god. We are verbally verbal crumping verbal right now. Crumping? Is uh, podcasting verbal crumping? Oh my god! Guys, as long people, as you're aggressive and you don't rehearse it beforehand. The people that started to do shots every time we say crumping are dead now. Are you guys happy? Crump, yes. crump, crump, crump. Guys, be careful. Crump, we might crump. end up in a New York Times article. Crump. <laughs> Okay. So, have we had our tea and crumpets? Can we talk about literally anything else? Yes. Uh, yes, we can. Yeah, okay. Do it. We have talked about, about this for way too long, muscats. but it had to be said. Let's talk about the Ibisu muscats. I, do you have anything I to talk about with them? I don't have anything to talk about. We got like Every one s- whole clip with the muscats. Okay, that's enough. I kept, I kept thinking <laughs> that you were saying the abusive muscats, and I the was abusive. like, I'm pretty sure it's not that. <laughs> No, the Muscats were, uh, Misaki, was, we, she was singing and dancing in the group on stage. 
Yeah, I mean, I, like the, I do like the cutout sign though that Hansan made to put his face that was in. Amazing! Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> no, they handed it to him, and he's like, "Here, you get this one." He's like, "I get this." Oh, one? he didn't make it. Okay. Yeah, unless... they had good signs. And then I they... like. I also like seeing it like hanging up on the wall for like the rest of the season. That was a nice touch. Oh yeah, in the bedroom. Okay. Definitely. So let's start talking about Burns and Misaki. Actually, okay. them. Let's not talk about crumping. Um, immediately, Burns finds himself attracted to her. He's like, "Hey." Out of all the girls I've seen in the house so far, Misaki is the cutest. And they get dinner together. I don't know if you guys remember that, but they get some yakiniku, mm-hmm. some little grilled barbecue going on. And the vibe is immediate. It's palpable. I was in, waiting for you. I was like, he's going to say palpable. In, in <laughs> yeah. a way, Burns started getting her pants off. That's true. All right. <laughs> she unbuttons the top of her Preg- jeans. Pregnant oh, pause. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. No, okay, yeah. So, they... so that's when that's when I re- I realized right that I was like okay she's really comfortable around him like mm-hmm. I was wondering if it was gonna go in the friend zone in a way mm-hmm. you know but he had that halfu charm you know it's weird to say like oh he reminds me of Shion because Burns came way before Shion but they both have that 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 halfu kind of appeal to me same um, haircut pretty yeah. similar haircut yeah similar body build um but yeah when when that was happening i was wondering if it was going to go rom- i think it was like on the fence in a way like is it going to go romantic or they can just be friends she's undoing her pants oh uh, yeah i don't know i wouldn't because i mean that conversation right it was very um flirty you know mm-hmm. burns yeah. was straight yeah, up was. talking like is there a chance like is there a chance for me i'm asking about me do i have a chance with you you know and She's like, maybe. Yeah, she's she's very much like maybe. And I, I thought it was kind of surprising, too, where she kind of she brought up the whole Hikaru situation on the first date. Mm. Yeah. Which she was, was she's, she, you still got to be salty no, no. about that. You can't get over something like that, especially when it's on national and international television. Like, no, 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 no. I mean, forever. and and Burns wasn't like opposed to it, like her bringing it up either. And anyway, sure. it, it was just. She laid it on there pretty quick. She was like, yeah, this stuff happened with Hikaru, and he told me, like, all these things of, like, what's wrong with my character, and... She has no core self. And, yeah. like, say, like, I have the exact same reaction as Burns did. It's like, what? Of course you have a core self. What the... Like, there was definitely a lot of alcohol involved at that point. They had been mm. drinking. <laughs> but I thought that was the very appropriate reaction to be like, that's insane that is madness and that's really rude and i still don't forgive hikaru for that you're a person you're a real person you are a person (laughs) yeah i mean we know now though in hindsight hikaru was was a pretty hot-headed boy he did not exactly have a way with words and i think part of that was a product of being young and inexperienced uh, among many other things he's had his time on the show he did date a lot of older women though so he did have some experience yeah, but he's, uh, he wasn't dating one when he came into the house, now was he? True. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that dinner date goes well, for the most part. I would say that was a net mm-hmm. positive for both of them. Oh, okay. yeah. I would right. say so. 100%. Connection. Um, and they plan on doing another date. And <laughs> the the date is planned. It's, it's hinged on the fact that Burns is taking his driver's test, right, in Japan. And the idea is, if you pass your test, let's go somewhere you can you can drive and bring them to a date place. Take me out. out. Take yes. me out. You can drive. I'll help you study. He oh, said she does. does. He and she that does. Was a cute and scene. He like, seemed to be really trying hard, and he had the extra incentive. You were incentivized, sir, to do well on this test. And the all the ducks were lined up too because it's Masaki's birthday. Was she 22, 23, 24? She was remember. turning 24. Four, yeah. Mm. And so it was all set. The stage was set for romance. And he comes home. I think he came home later than he expected to. Maybe he was trying to avoid the impending conversation <laughs> that he had to have. I get a little bit she of that. She waits yeah. up for him. Yeah, Yo. she does. The man walks in, no words, deep bows, silence. You, on I'm his sorry. On, yeah, Dots like head deep to the floor. Bows. on his and knees. He's like, I'm sorry. He's like dying laughing. Dude, she's laughing because she thinks he's fucking trolling her. She uh, she's in denial, hardcore. She's sitting uh, on the edge of the couch, 
she's like, really? Wait, what? No, you passed. You passed. We studied. I helped you. <laughs> no, I thought she was laughing because she was just like, oh, my God, that's fucking hilarious that you failed. I thought that's why she was laughing. <laughs> I think she was in denial. I mean, I think she was thinking he I got the impression from that scene that he was uh, that she thought in the beginning, beginning that he was just joking and pulling her leg. Oh, maybe so. He but he was funny. like deep bowing. He, would, yeah. he might as well have been saying, most you are goes I mustn't just like. <laughs> And then, no, I remember the scene very vividly. And then he gets up and he says, I was one point off. And she, the whole time she's just like, really, really? I know, dude, to be that close to romance. That's the the ultimate tragedy of the season. One point off. And then she goes, you know, it's my birthday now. (laughs) And he goes, he sits down and he he has that defeated look at his face. He's just like, uh, first of all, happy birthday. (laughs) Which I this was is, laughing so hard. He's like, first of all, happy birthday. And geez. I failed. <laughs> that is my gift to you. Yeah. She's like, wait, what? No. And that's when I think she really started to believe him when he sat down mm. and he wasn't breaking at all, like character, not character, but he wasn't breaking into like a laugh. Like, oh, I'm just joking. Right. Right. Well, and I mean, she, I would be upset too if I was in his position because dude, I'd, be, I'd be upset if I was her. She had well, I, both. <sighs> I Both sides. Yeah. It's, I, it's loss, loss. But uh, he kind of makes up for it, though, later when uh, she's like, well, even though you don't have your license, does that mean we can't go anywhere until you get it? And he's like, no, definitely not. We can. Yeah. We should go somewhere. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's a good thing to clear up there versus yeah, yeah. like, no, I can't even talk to you until I have this down. I was one point away. And now I need three points more. Like what? <laughs> What if he was a real dick and was like, it's your fault you didn't help me study enough? Oh, my God. Oh my you God. didn't ask the right questions. <laughs> no, it would have been childish for, for on both of their ends if either of them were like, no, this driver's test is the be-all, end-all. Like, if, if you don't pass it, we don't go out anymore, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, man. Here's the to, blade to go commit seppuku in the fucking backyard. Oh, to commit God. Sudoku, yeah. Sudoku. Uh, but... <laughs> Mm. But his real gift to her was like super adorable and super nice. And I think it makes up for the failure. Yeah, because the next big thing to my recollection of their timeline is uh, Masaki's birthday or 24th. Right. Mm. And Burns gives her this really nice dress or no, it was it a robe? No, it was, it was a like, dress. It was like it was like a white like, dress. I remember it was like a cute, really cute outfit. Yeah. Well, like a and, gown to me. Man, it was all the above. Um, it was clothing a nice item. Cute. Yeah. It was, it was something. From a brand that he likes. He it was, was like, straight. I like this brand. I want you to go. He was like, it was so cute because he was like, he didn't want to be like, go try it on now. But like, he was like, wait, but I want to, I want to see you in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everyone at the table was like, go try it on. Can I, can I do a thing here? No. Guys, has no. anyone ever bought a female that you're romantically interested in a pair of, or a, uh, article of clothing that's not like a scarf or a hat or gloves like something to go on their body because i don't understand girl sizes at all and i don't know how Neither to get sizes <laughs> yeah right Same. and i don't even know how to go about getting them or or asking i guess you just ask that's the way to do it but then you kind of give away the surprise point being is that i think it took a lot of balls for burns to pick out to think about getting clothes and then knock it out of the park kind of because he got the right mm. size. It looked really good on her. So he earned a lot of respect for me because I would never even dream of doing that. I would do jewelry or something else. Clothes is like the last thing I think I'd ever buy a girl. Just because well, he has, I would feel like he, it'd be a disaster if I did it. So he has an advantage here, though, because you have to remember the situation, right? Because he lives with five other people, two of which are women and that sleep in the same room as Masaki. Sure. Oh. You know, so he could have easily been like, hey, do you happen to know, like, know or could you find out what Misaki's dress sizes or whatever and then even when you know the size though you run a risk no matter what that she might not like it unless you take the other girls with you is like the best thing you can do i guess yeah maybe i I think it's just too many risks for me i think what made that gift such a net positive for him it was quit saying that such a good thing for him (laughs) what is this you're gonna pull a powerpoint here pretty soon yeah, you got I, a laser do, pointer? I'm doing the math, guys. <laughs> I'd just like um, to show you that our APIs are going uh, yes. up and up this quarter. <laughs> our APIs. Uh, no, the, what made it such a knock out of the park, right, isn't that I bought you a dress. It was more I bought you a dress from a brand that I really like, right? So inherently that gift is coming with a lot of burns in it. 
you know like mm. hey it, it's something that whenever she wears it now it isn't just oh this is the gift that burns got me it's this is the gift where it's something he really likes too and now mm. inside of that is something that i like he was do like, you think she giddy felt, to see her in it too he was like it oh. was yeah it was a really nice moment and she really liked the dress and like i said she looked you know it fit her well so is it though is it though kind of corny though then if she were to wear it on the very next date they go on is that corny no no i don't okay. think so perfect okay it's okay. perfect oh okay. well, yeah i don't, she I don't didn't. see that corny as all okay yeah i feel like if she didn't wear it burns the whole day would be thinking oh did she not like it was she just being nice when she mm. wore it last night oh i don't know okay. you know okay that's that's how i see it anyway okay. um i want to talk about probably my favorite part of the misaki oh, burn no. relationship like this is my favorite You're cutting to the best event. part already really? yeah so it's the scene where burns he passes a test right he, oh this is terrible that's my favorite thing it's so funny this is the dumbest <laughs> shit oh my god he is so Wait. stupid it's Did we stupid skip over hmm. there was what? a kiss oh well, okay yeah that's right so at at the end of her birthday party right oh, burns right. gets hella drunk and says that he like he just straight up i like you is yeah, this in the living not. room when he's sitting on the floor yeah, and then he tries to kiss her, and then she's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, oh, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Mata, no, mata, too soon. Yeah. He's like, it's just on the forehead. It's just on the forehead. But you know what, though? I mean, I like that he at least did what I always wanted Uchi to do, that Uchi could never gather the gumption to actually do and, like, put your feelings out there mm. and say it plainly, like, hey, I like you. No, I like Not you. Well. You know, although, like, make it make it clear. It was, it was refreshing to see that. Although we have the parallel with the really terrible kiss and the girl being like wait what are you doing what are you doing with originally we had uchi grabbing minori's jawline yeah, 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 yeah. and now yeah. we have wait just let me kiss her on the forehead it's that's like it. that's some it. reason terrace house it's much it's like i think like a 75 percent chance that the kiss is going to be awkward like there's there mm. are some good uh, ones but they're yeah. fewer and far between the awkward ones seem to happen at a higher clip i feel i feel like especially first kisses or very early on in relationships like those are almost always kind of awkward like in general in general yeah you know what i mean because it's like no matter what you do it's like even if you expect it or not you don't know how that person's body language is going to react you know and it also just seems to me i think it comes with experience too because i i haven't like ran like a content analysis on the show yet but most people, it seems like to me on Terrace House, are more in the less experienced to medium experience range when it comes to relationships. Um, some of them, with few exceptions, like Santa and Tai Chi, they're very experienced and it shows. Yeah. Um, well, you also, I mean, also that correlates with how old they are, which makes sense. Yeah. Because uh -huh. I was going to say, I, I feel like Hayato has a lot of experience, but he's also 29. Mm. Oh, we'll get to that. Guy. Right. I mean, you. Oh, we'll get to Hayato. Oh, we've. <laughs> But you date a lot in your twenties. I mean, that's usually like one of the peaks yeah. in your date in the normal dating life, on average. I would say. So to go back to that, he goes in for the kiss. She's like, eh, X X arms. No, he's like, no, it's just gonna be just on the forehead. No, no, no. Still too soon. Still too soon. And it was awkward, but it still was propelling the relationship in a positive direction. And he was staying yeah. firmly, firmly mm -hmm. out of the friend zone. So good job for that. Mm. I mean, it helps too, right? The next morning. Misaki says, hey, you were really drunk last night. Do you remember anything you said? And he, stone-faced, not stone-faced, but you know, not even flinching, not even embarrassed about it, just says, oh, yeah, I remember. I remember. Oh, I was there. He had an out. He could have been like, oh, nope. Nope. I'm crazy when I'm drunk. Right. <laughs> Who yeah, knows I, I, what I did? And no. Tokui on the panel pointed it out, too. He's like, he's like, that was a really nice moment when he, like, no, no second thought. He was just like, yep. I remember. Mm -hmm. Own it. He owned it. Exactly. And that's going to make him seem more attractive to Misaki later on. He, he owns things very well. He he is quick to <laughs> fess up and be like, that's my bad. Yes, I'll I crumb. make sure I don't do this <laughs> in the future. I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I Let me go crump out my sadness. I've been He's known to crump from time to time. <laughs> Please Crumpers me. live with their mistakes. I've, I've danced the crump before. <laughs> Hello, my name is Yuki Burns, and I am a crumper. 
Hey, look, if you crump, <laughs> right. a crumper. listener, if you crump, I like you. We're I sorry, anyone playing the crumping drinking game. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> okay. uh, so can we talk about my favorite part now? This yes. part, since you brought it up already, is so bad. How could it's you? So, he he so does funny. a lot of things right. I think uh, he's not perfect. You know, um, but he does a lot of things right here. But to think that it would be a good idea to lie or like obfuscate the truth about his results. Why? Why would you think that's good to do? What are our everyone theories? knows they're like they're sitting on the couch waiting for him to get home. To she hear waited about whether up or not he late. passed the test. Yeah. Everyone knows about it. He comes home and everyone's like, uh, well, how did it go? And he's like, I will tell you next time. next time dude next and time. she's dude. like yeah and she's sitting there like what the fuck we've been talking about it we stayed she, up for you she, she's like uh, not nani everyone and, knows that you went and did your test like if you went and did it and kept it a secret that's one thing but everyone knows everyone's anticipating mm. the results as a group <laughs> he, was, he was so oblivious <sighs> he was so oblivious like, i'll tell you later bro she got up and she uh, stormed uh, out uh, yeah that's how she name us I'm going yeah, to and sleep. She's, going she to stormed sleep. out. She's like, fuck this. I'm out. And then everyone's like, uh, that wasn't a good move, dude. And, and he was he was just so like genuinely oblivious. That's my favorite thing, is that Dumbass. he in this moment, he is a sitcom character come to life. Really? This moment oh is God. so stupid, it cannot be real. Like he needs it. To be explained very in very simple terms to him. Yeah. This is the only time Hayato is the good guy in this entire show. And he's like, no, you made a mistake there. Uh, yeah. Everyone knew you were getting your results. Yes. It would make sense that after you get your results, you would tell everyone your results. What? And, <laughs> right? What? And, and Burns just like, uh, I see what I did there. <laughs> like he's Dude, just, yeah. He's, he's like, like, just ah. like it's just like at the end like of uh, it's at the end of the fifth element. If you guys have ever seen that movie, it's like tell her, tell her, Corbin. Like yeah, I kind of get where he's coming from. Maybe he like got such a powerful response to the last time when he was like, "Oh, I failed," and I'm sure like they told that story to the rest of the house, and everyone was like, "Oh my gosh, that's so funny!" Like you bowed and everything, and so <laughs> he was trying to get a repeat performance, and it just fell flat entirely. See, wow. my theory so don't quit your short sighted, so short sighted on his part. My theory is because you remember when he apologized, like he eventually goes to a room and apologizes, right? About the right. whole thing. He explains yeah. that he had this really nice fantasy about he doesn't tell her with words that he passed, it's that he rides up in, in a car to pick her up, and that's his way of telling her, Aww. Hell yeah, I passed, and we're going I, on a date. I mean, he should have set that up before the fact, then, like, he should have had like her having dinner or something like the group having dinner outside and then he rolls up in a car like out front of the restaurant yeah that would have been a good way to do it but i think he was thinking too much about the end goal and this was maybe his second or third week in tara's house so my theory is he just kind of forgot that oh wait she like lives with me like where my car oh, is, no, is she where lives she with is me. like he just forgets that fact and just thinks too much about the payoff of i could pick her up in a car and like i that would have yeah. been a baller move if she lived in other places and he lived in another place and he needed to pick her up for the date. And at the same time, it's kind of charming in its own way because he's like, he meant well, but he he's just an idiot. He just was completely oblivious. He was an idiot. He was blinded by love, whatever you want to call it. And he just blew. He just completely blew it. At, at least <laughs> Terashima, though, has enough damn sense to convince him to go tell her. Right, like no, mm. I fucking oh, I, I did this. Yeah, go talk so to her. Like, room. I can't no. remember. Do they? They definitely embrace, but I can't remember. Do they kiss here? No. Okay. They no, don't. they don't. They don't kiss here. But it's, it's at that moment though, especially when I originally watched the show that, where he goes and makes makes up with her, and he apologizes and he explains the situation and blah blah blah, and they just like make up instantly they're fine they're chummy they're, they're like yeah. okay let's go back downstairs she, do, 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 do. yeah oh yeah and then she's she comes like, back oh, she's like, I'm, oh not I'm not going to sleep <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. i'm fine so that mm. whole thing happens and they finally go on that date they had been planning pretty much since the beginning of their their courtship to right Yokohama. of 
Yeah, well, well, they weren't planning to go to Yokohama. We'll go somewhere. We'll go somewhere. Burns kept it a secret. He kept it hidden. That's right. This whole time, Misaki has been saying, Yokohama is bad juju. I don't want to go back to Yokohama. Anywhere but there. there, Anywhere but there. Mm -hmm. Oh, last time she went there, she got burned. But then... This time, there's a burn joke somewhere. Robert, I don't know. Robert, uh, that now she's about to get burns. Ha. There it is. Uh, um, I quit. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, I only laid the brickwork. Colin brought it across the finish line. Um, but yeah, so you're welcome. They have a little dinner, and then he brings her to Yokohama, and it's like on the way there, Misaki kind of realizes what's happening. She's like, "Oh wait, we're." Oh. We're on yeah. the way to Yokohama, aren't and we? And this is a this is a win for Burns for me. This is another area that he does well. And she wears the dress, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. That he bought her on the day. And, yes. Yeah. And does. so this is just another area where he went well. And I remember, I seem to remember him saying that. I know you have bad memories here. Uh, this is just paraphrasing, but he's like, but I, but I know that we could create good memories. Essentially, I want you to have a good feeling about this city. Yeah, and the moment where they were like sitting down in front of the city lights, they had the Ferris wheel in front of them. By the way, great cinematography, oh, like that yeah. shot behind them, beautiful. Um, I want to go there. Jeez, it's so pretty. Um, that the the stuff he was saying was like he was. I it, I think he practiced it because that was way too smooth mm. to be ad lib. He he did not crump it. He choreographed before, <laughs> dude. What if he like crumped? Like, what if he like got up like by the water? Oh and started my crumping, god! Like to like express his love for her? Because that's I've that's the thing. Like a bird of paradise. The only way I can express my feelings to you is if I crump while I say <laughs> through the power of dance. <laughs> to the power but that's the thing, y'all. Like, I don't think anyone in the house, like we as viewers, have seen him crump. But I don't think anyone in the house has seen him crump. And I'm really. I really wanted that scene. I really wanted him to be like, this is my art form, Misaki. <laughs> Please love me. Behold. Heart. This is you know, is my life. I I just now remembered. Didn't he invite everyone to like a, a dance exhibition where he was gonna solo crump? Which by the way, that sounds rough. No, I mean I look, totally I'm gonna stand up for that's... crumping, but solo crumping on stage sounds rough. <sighs> um Yeah, he invited him to that. And maybe maybe that was like a deleted scene. You know, in, in another terrorist oh, clip, we I can only that. hope. Now we need we, to look. We, now we just need to scour through the YouTube channel and find it. I just need more of him crumping. Period. I don't care where it is. He do, he has a YouTube channel, or at least he did have a YouTube channel. So back to h- him crumping. professing his love via crump. I, yeah, I can't remember where they went um, to eat. For some reason, I really cannot remember them eating in Yokohama or what they did. They, but well, they, they ate somewhere. They else. ate at um, Yugi. Sahara, Yugi, Yugi something beach, like a beach mm, that, yeah. and that's they. Everyone's been there several times. It's it's a very datey, but then they. Went it's like to the Yokohama, place to go in Yokohama, yeah. And that's like where you walk and you see all the couples. Like even on the on when she was there with Hikaru, like she even pointed out, like oh, they're kissing. That couple over there is kissing, mm. and like right, right, this right. is a very romantic place. The music yeah. swelling. He's basically pouring him his heart out there to her letting her know that he wants to i think he says will you go out with me or that's what the translation was something like let's go out or i can't it, remember. it was something like out. that but the things that he was saying were kind of like the inverse of what hikaru said which is yes. i think that was intentional yeah because yeah. he watched the tape yeah he it was watched like the tape. yeah um he did study and so tape. he was like i like everything about you i like you know the core of you, it's, I don't know, you're the type of person that I want to be. I don't I don't remember exactly what he said, but it was a lot of very meaningful, deep stuff. Dude, I was swooning. Yeah. It was very sweet. I, the, way he put, was. the way he put the whole thing together and was incredible. And she was basically smitten at that point. How could you say Ooh. no? Exactly. Yeah. She was so, and, she was so giggly over the whole thing too. It was pretty funny. Oh yeah. I love that. It's like he literally like mended all the damage that Hikaru had done because like Hikaru had said like, you know, getting to know you in the house, I just feel like, you know, essentially what he said was that she was really shallow and she didn't have a lot of personality of her own. Whereas Burns was like, getting to know you in the house, I found so many things that I like about you and That's what it so was. much personality and yeah. and it was like, ugh, he, I really don't see, like he... There's like nothing he could have added to this. It was like perfect. Exactly. I, I think and he then, could have added some crumping. 
He okay. could have added some crumping, but he Just did on say, top make, there. He did make Misaki say that she likes Yokohama now. <laughs> Yokohama wa skina. I mean, yeah. I think I think that's cool because that's also another layer of her also kind of saying that she likes Burns. You know, it's like that's saying it without saying it. Yeah, that's right? her arc. I mean, she agrees to go steady with him, go out with him. Right. But but one thing that also because we talk about Tom Tomosan 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 we talk about her. Uh, in previous episodes where she is like young at heart right she acts a little bit more immature than what her age might suggest Mm -hmm. and like it kind of comes through here at the end like one of the things i remember is that she keeps asking him like are you sure did you mean it like really really like like yeah do you really like me like she's still you know she needs a little bit more convincing so it was Mm -hmm. uh it was nice but i i'm and i'm glad it sunk in too you know i was worried that maybe she would have a little bit too much doubt about it but obviously not yeah, and this also made me realize that Boys and Girls in the City is kind of the season of couples still stay in the house. Because they get together pretty, I mean, not early, right? But there's still maybe five or six episodes, mm-hmm. I want to say, of them. Like, they're together, but they just... They just stay you there. Know. Yeah, they're just there. They live there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think it was... I think it was mostly because they just knew they had such little time left right they were kind of like taking advantage of like the convenience of being able to live together uh for like the month or so month and a half that they had left there yeah i got the sense that and there's some evidence there's some contextual clues coming up later but i got the sense that they were dating but they were not sleeping together yes i got that sense too same i i think it was kind of solidified where toward the end of their time on terrace house they talk about like their future i think misaki says something along the lines of i'm sure you've been holding back because we live with people <laughs> and that to me <laughs> sounds like pda straight up just mac yeah. and tongue in <clears throat> there's a yeah, sex room was, in this house though <laughs> yeah it was so well, funny that when they came back and we were like yeah and i asked misaki to go steady with me arman was instantly like do you want to? So, are you guys moving into the Japanese yeah, style yeah. room? Yep. That would be my and it's like, and too. she was like, "Not tonight." <laughs> like, <laughs> like take it easy, pump the brakes. Yeah. No, I, I. There is a an episode later towards the end where it was just the girls it was Rico, Martha, and uh, uh, Misaki. Me? They were having lunch or dinner or something, and and Martha kind of like alluded to it, and then Misaki's like, "Yeah, you want to know whether or not we're like sleeping together, right?" And she's like, yeah, I was totally going to ask that. And she's like, no, we haven't really done any of that yet, which is kind of surprising given that they live together. But I guess they're holding back. Yeah. I mean, for not best. every not every couple wants to get together just a bone. Sometimes they get together mm. for love. Yeah. Right. They're, what? I mean, that, <laughs> Imagine what, that. I mean, who? What? <laughs> what is this love that you speak of? What, what is love? love? <laughs> Baby, Thanks. don't. Oh, sorry. Uh, copyright. Um. So, yeah, I guess the next big event in their relationship, and honestly, I'm finding it a little weird that we're talking about a couple post the coupling. Yes, like, usually, they're still here. Yeah. You, I mean, we did it a bit with um, the meat crime couple. Uchi right? and Minori. Uchi and Minori. Um, yeah. Oh, gosh. They got so terrible when they, they after they coupled up. Yeah, and, and that at least led to a big incident. But with Misaki and Burns, the big incident kind of goes... It, they kind of get out of the way pretty early. And it's also, mm. like, really weird. I don't... I Let's just get into it. I didn't. So, did, so they go... Did, all, uh, uh, I'm just going to say, dare I say, controversial thoughts here, hot takes, Jack Spada. They yeah. got kind of boring... That's the hot take. They got kind of boring for me after they were, like, together in the house i mean our our attention gets diverted to other channels here which we're about to touch on but i'm just saying for the next few episodes after they're together it got kind of boring it got kind of lazy it got kind of comfortable as a couple uh for me i I would agree with you if the show ran any longer than it did Mm. yeah because i was ready for them to be done well, because if you think, like, I agree in, in some ways, but let's at least talk about the big dramatic thing that happens with that, like the only dramatic thing that happens That's after normal. they get together. So all six of the, uh, the entire house goes out camping and a lot of stuff happens on this, happens on this camping, 
I just can't talk. A lot of stuff happens on this camping trip. And we're going to talk about all the events kind of piecemeal in the next few episodes and today. Um, so for Burns and Masaki, apparently Masaki gets real pissed at Burns because oh, yes. he had... Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep getting <laughs> off. I apologize. But before we get there, the watermelon in the lake. <laughs> the watermelon's like, getting away in the river. In yeah. the river. Like, well, well, I just thought it was genius. They're like, hey, put this watermelon in the water. It will basically keep it cold and keep it fresh. And I was like, oh, that's a good Have idea. Not- and then Armand had to go because oh. they almost lost it. And I but, love how yeah. everyone was like, immediately, Armand, you're the one. Swim. Yeah, yeah. Armand, get it, Armand, get it. Get it. swim, go, Mister. I, I don't move my head while I swim. Armand, go get, get it. <laughs> and you see yeah. Burns taking a picture, pictures of everybody. He's got his camera there, and now I'll throw it back to Robert. Right. Well, while we're interrupting Robert, since we're already oh. here, all right. I just like Anyone to throw out. Robert? Robert. I, I guess so. I, th- I guess that's just the round table that's happening right now. We're just gonna interrupt the shit out of Robert. Uh, <laughs> I would just like to throw out there that like what they were doing was not camping. It was glamping. Just saying. Just wanted to put that out there. What's that glamping? Was not camping. What's glamping? They, they were staying in a cabin. That's not camping. That's staying oh, in a cabin. We got a camping snob like, that's moving on the from, show now. That's, that's moving from terrace camping. house to a smaller terrace house is what they were doing. You know, while we're interrupting Robert, uh, <laughs> while we're just talking about that cabin, can can I just say if if you've been playing the uh, cr- crumping drinking game for today's episode oh, that gosh. we've kind of you know it's a thing now i guess uh watch that scene again of them first opening the door into the cabin and drink every time they say sugoi oh yeah kawaii you will die <sighs> anyway yes. Yes. yes so back to robert burns glamp ha- he brings his camera with him right he takes a couple photos mm-hmm. Masaki looks through the photos and then she looks through it enough to go back to photos that are four years old and finds pictures of Burns's ex. Yikes. I hope they weren't naked pictures. Well, maybe wasn't it only one picture. It was only one. I thought singular. I think so. Yeah. But she is mad. The guy is inconsistent. Burns is okay. He, he does some good stuff, but his faux pas are high on the bad meter of faux pas like yeah, a sense? couple a couple of red flags in there <laughs> like it, the things the mistakes he makes are really big mistakes like dude i don't know but i'm sure I'm, he probably totally forgot those pictures were even on there that's my thought they're so old i was that's what i was gonna say yeah i i re- don't think this is so much as a faux pas as much as it is and she a admits it later that you know misaki was feeling just really insecure and she's been burned before and mm-hmm. she doesn't want to get burned by burns Aye. joke Aye. insert here and she like that that stress just suddenly came to her like out of this like they're <clears throat> kind of in the honeymoon period right now so suddenly right. to have something that makes her question whether or not this is going to work out that's that's a lot to handle all at once so that's why she was you know went back to the cabin with the girls and cried over it a little bit when it, in reality it's it's really not that big of a deal well also and, a component hold on also a component of this is that she's also upset because she got so upset yes so yeah. it's like compounding. which, which is she's a like, vicious I don't want to ass be, circle yeah, yeah i was like i don't want to care this much i don't want to be this upset because of something like this this is dumb but yet here i am and that's a real thing and it's a contributor right. by the by the way on a side note i'm pretty sure if it was a nude she'd be far more upset <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah would, uh, that would that's a wholly different conversation. Yeah, and and also I remember Robert bringing up while we were watching that uh, it's not often that we see in the show anyway Burns using that camera, so maybe it's something he doesn't break out that often. So maybe that that's another reason why that the, the picture could be on there. Only but, when he starts dating people, he starts taking. But pictures. but at the same time, <laughs> I I mean, it, it, a relationship. If I'm in a relationship, right, and I exit the relationship. I have a pretty good idea where all of my stuff is, like, pertaining to said X is, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know if that makes me the weird one, but, like, like I know I have those pictures on that camera if, if I'm him, right? It could have been, what, but what I'm saying is it could have been, like, a nothing picture. She could have, yeah. you know what I mean? It could have been, like, like it's nothing a group that meant picture, nothing. maybe. It could have been a bunch of things. We didn't see it. I wish we did see it. That, but, that's true. Yeah, and as but someone who... It's easy to forget that stuff. 
Yeah, and someone who owns an actual dedicated camera, like a DSLR, it's Show like off. As, thank you. I've <laughs> even though I spent so much money on it, I don't use it as much as I thought I would have. And then on top of Same. that, every time I use it, I'm like, where did I take this? What the fuck is this a picture of? Oh yeah. You know, I just forget, and I'm like. Oh, I don't know where that's from. I'll just format real quick. You know, it's very yeah. easy to just forget the things that are on your camera until you make the effort to transfer it to your computer and do whatever you need to do to whatever you're going to do the photo, right? <clears throat> so right. I could, I personally believe that Burns just forgot, like just straight up forgot about this. And it's yeah, not like, it's, it's not because he's dumb, but it's just, that's kind of how DSLRs work. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's just how <laughs> no, it is. And it's if Canon's fault. It's Canon's fault, Sue Cannon. But don't do that, please. What I think, <laughs> like, if if he were really holding on to that photo, like, I still miss her. Man, I yeah. miss her. Oh, uh, the why one would, that got away. Why after would it, four years, though? Why would Masaki, it be on a you're my DS, silver medal. Like, let's be real. It would not be on a DSLR. It would be no. in a folder in his phone called 2014 Tax Returns. What? And that, are we getting a glimpse behind the curtain of Robert? We, right we now, really are here. Shit, yeah. <laughs> and that's where it would stay. So he always knows it's there. The important it's thing here is, is that she finally composes herself. Right. The girls talk her down. She calms down. They reconvene. They go off. And he does as good a job as you can hope to apologize for the instance. I, he manages. I love that scene <clears throat> to... The what? Like I loved that scene too. Like like the way that they were sitting around like this lantern. It was yeah. lit really interestingly. Like the cicadas started screaming their asses off in the background. It <laughs> it was very summer. And he apologized yeah. as well. He's he's good at apologizing. Yeah, we he, he learned that through yeah. <laughs> he yeah, has to apologize a lot, it turns out. <laughs> yeah. 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 The, well he does. Um but what I do appreciate about burns if you can say anything good about burns is the fact that he's good at taking responsibility for what he does he owns it he owns it. acknowledging so, yeah. the actions you know apologizing and then saying what he's going to do better and then they, yeah. they totally bone in the woods later y'all yep. i because of what happened with opening new doors i was like there's there's more going on here there's there yeah. must be more going on in the totally. darkness beyond the Can't. trees Cabin totally banging. this this camping trip a lot of storylines a lot of through lines get intersected here at this one night it's very mm -hmm. complex like robert said we're going to keep coming back here mm -hmm. yes but now we just get into the point where i kind of agree with jack after this camping trip misaki and burns as a couple and their arc as a couple is kind of boring Bye. You know, they go they go on that one little cute shopping date where Misaki tries on some bathing suits and Burns is like, you're Yo. too cute. I can't. Burns was looking thirsty I, AF. I oh, yeah. Even. <laughs> she was teasing him. I, I, she was like, she wanted him to like, you know, they're dating now. It's OK. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. Not the I did she notice, wanted him though, to gawk at her. Got, mm. uh, gawk at her. Jesus. Mm. I did notice that she did not buy the swimsuit that he liked the best. Oh, is that, that true? was pretty funny. She she was like, "This isn't a dem she basically said this isn't a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a misocracy. Yeah. Misocracy. <laughs> nice. But, oh my. Non nonetheless, that's kind of it for that that day. You know, it's like cool. That, that's it. Good for you. Daily is no longer on uh, Tadama. Sorry to inform you guys. Uh, she keeps making oh. too many puns. Uh, crumping, uh, right. crumping, crumping, yeah. crumping, 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 crumping. I'll just crump away. Crimp, <laughs> crimp. Now, crimping is what you do to an uncrustable. Krampus. Um, you, okay. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> also different. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, yeah, that date happens. They go on another date to a water park, and it's also pretty like, you know, they're just. That's my favorite happy. part where really? they're doing the thing where isn't she like in the thing, in the tube, and then in the he's inner like tube. outside of it, and they're like mm -hmm. face to face, and don't they go underwater and kiss? They do. They, they have underwater. They brought kiss. an underwater camera just for that two that was seconds. I know. They're like, guys, you gotta kiss underwater. We so spent all crowded. this money on this camera. <laughs> it was mad Got crowded. Yeah, but that was my favorite like scene. And they're talking about like what their plans are after the show. This is pretty close to the end of yeah. BGITC. And it so is. they're discussing I what's going to happen. And I don't know. It seemed it seemed like it was all well in order. Like they seem like a good couple. And they're and Burns is basically waiting for that night where he can 
can do stuff to her. He can do what? It could not oh, do, I don't like the way, the way you, the way you worded Jack. that. Jack, do, Jack, do what? <laughs> <laughs> what is what does Burns want to do, Jack? <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna do the crump. He's, he's, he, watch me, I'm gonna crump. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna do the, the, the crump thing. The crump thing. He's gonna crump all over her crumps. Okay. Oh, John! Ah! Oh no! He said it. No! He said it. <laughs> Robert, save so, us from this hell. Uh, I would just no. I, like I want to let you I, live with that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make more. Intre- I'm, I'm gonna put a more wholesome side note here. This amusement park, they're eating curry and ramen at an amusement park. It looked good. <laughs> it, it yeah. look like it's such a stuff. Japanese thing. You would it not was. see that here in America. <laughs> you can't go to an amusement park here in America and just get like curry and rice and, and ramen. After, and after they ate that, he crumped all over her crumps. Eight. Okay, y'all. <laughs> really, in the interest of moving on as quickly as possible from that line of thought, guys, I did think, too hard. Um, when they were cleaning up the house, about to move out, they kind of had a conversation, or at least um, Burns and Armand had a conversation about. You know, they live pretty nearby each other, so it's not like mm. a long distance relationship. They're not moving in together, but. You know, they're they're seeing how things are going to go, which is like sounds like kind of like one of the healthiest kind of couple send offs that I've heard from this season, certainly, yeah. because yeah, it's definitely. like there's there's they definitely know what the next step is, which isn't too different from the steps that they've already been taking, aside from the fact that they don't live together anymore. Right. right. Does anyone know happen to know if they're still together? They're not still together. Definitely not. And oh. it's it's also a little bit like I don't want to say sketchy, but both of their social media has been taken down a while ago, actually. Um, oh really? Believe, really? Yeah. Burns took his social media down the week that we learned about the Hayato Rico incident. So this is oh, back in 2016. Shit. Yeah. So uh, he just and, has been on blackout for three years. I think he he made a new one recently. I feel like I've but, seen his Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty recently. recent. I know he's been on yeah. Instagram recently, too. Okay. With That's Mas- pretty strange. With Masaki, she had to close her Instagram because she quit her, her like, her public, her agent, her agency, like, mm-hmm. to be a, you know, a, like, you're a celebrity agent thing. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah uh, when she left them, she had to close her Instagram account because it was linked to... Like the account itself the was owned by the and, publicist, yeah. And I think I, I think she has a new one now too. By the way, I think they both have fresh new Instagrams. So, have at it. If you right. want to find them, go to to Diamogram, follow us, and then you can find them that way. And sure. We follow everyone. <laughs> Shameless so, plug. Just so, soon. there's one big aspect of their relationship we haven't talked about yet, and it's partially because it bleeds into the Hayato Rico thing, right? Because Burns spearheads that. Like he becomes prosecutor Burns, Burns Kenji, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we will talk about that in two weeks. It's a little tease there for you. In two weeks, we'll talk about the big ultimate finale of Boys and Girls in the City. Uh, but for this week, I think this is a good place for us to wrap up. That's the story, guys, of the Crumper and the Bisu Muscat. And I'm glad we could dedicate an episode to them. The Crumper and the Crumpet. And I'm Team glad crumpets. we could oh say my crumping God. so much on one episode. I think we're setting a world oh. record here. Guys, I know I've said this, and by guys, I mean the listeners. I know I've said this, I don't know, maybe what, at least once, maybe twice already, but uh, this will be my last episode of the, ter- the Tadaima <laughs> Terracels podcast. I, 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 I cannot, He's I joking. repeat, cannot take all these dead jokes. <laughs> I can't, I can't take all these puns. Somebody save me, please. What, are they crumping your style? Oh. oh, kill me. Uh, yeah. Uh, bye. Goodbye. So okay. not- <laughs> thanks for listening to Tadaima. If you enjoyed what we did this week, uh, hey, consider telling a friend. Let them know that we make probably don't don't lead with the crump jokes. I think that's something don't. to lead like to yeah, lead no. them toward. Guys, we cannot uh, say crump ever again after this episode. Get them all out right oh, now because yes, we are banning. This is going on the list of banned words. Same. Uh, yeah, so tell a friend, spread the word, let them know. Terrace House is a good show, and we may or may not be the best uh, companion to it. Who knows? Who's to, who oh. is to say? One thing I want to say, K-Dog though, I do want to, I do want to, 
Oh, wait. Sorry. I, I just want to say real quick to our listeners, thank you very much for everyone that is subscribing. Thank you for people that have also subscribed to our YouTube channel and for liking it, commenting as well. We read all the comments. We actually do. Um, so we thank you for that. We appreciate it. And yeah, ding that bell. That's all. Smash that bell. I think do that's it. what they say, right? Button. The bell mm-hmm. button. Same. Yeah. Uh, right? And hey, if you don't want to tell a friend, consider telling a stranger on the internet by leaving us an iTunes review. That would help us out a lot. It you know just helps with general visibility, lets more people know that we're a pretty decent show that maybe you should listen to. Uh, and if you leave a review, you'll have a chance of being read aloud by a voice like Daly's. Hey, oh, so this is from uh, KDog552, and we do not know whether or not the K stands for crumping. It could stand for crumping. I'd like to think K- it does. I'd, I'd like to think so, too. But KDog552 says, this podcast is the best. I'm obsessed with the show, and the podcast hosts bring up a lot of good points. Jack is my fave. I mean, Aww. that's just patently wrong, but oh. thank you anyway. K-dog. Who's your fave, Daily? If yeah, I'm who's not your me? favorite, of, of, yeah. I am my if you're favorite. Gonna, if you're, you're your own favorite. <laughs> of course. Fair enough. Fair enough. Don't worry, Jack's my favorite. Thank you. You're my favorite, Aww. Colin. Aww. Thanks, okay. No one likes Robert. Robert. Way too many fucking no like Robert. Robert. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> no one likes Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I live Robert. with Robert, okay? I, I'm obligated to, I don't know. So it's out of obligation. Wow. Can I ask a question? Can I, can I ask a question? Do you like make him hot tea and then you guys sit down on a gentle summer's evening to watch Terrace House? Is that a real no. thing? No. I don't think Robert's, well, has Robert ever made me tea? Have you ever made me tea? No. I figured you were making him coffee or tea or something. I don't know. Is it romantic when you guys watch Terrace House together? That's my real question. Here. Under we watch a blanket. It yeah, do you guys share a blanket? Mm-hmm. Do you guys eat spaghetti? Does he knows you a meatball? No. Okay. Uh, no, it's more like ramen. It's not really so much spaghetti. I can Fair. I I don't want that bad juju out there. I cannot cook ramen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the first thing he goes to is I can't. Cook <laughs> it's ramen. not not to object to the romance aspect. Okay. <laughs> Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, theories, anything you think we missed about the Misaki Burns saga, please email any and all of those things to us at questions at terracehousepodcast.com. You can catch us next Tuesday. We're going to talk about the other couple that ends the show, that ends the season, uh, Armand and Martha. Marcia. My boy Armand, what up? He does it. He finally does it at the end. Uh, but Does a damn thing. You'll have to wait until next week to hear that. This has been Tadaima. Thanks for listening. Itekimasu. You can email us at questions at terracehousepodcast.com, follow us on Instagram at Tadaimagram, on Twitter at Tadaimapod, and check us out on Facebook and YouTube at Tadaima, a Terrace House podcast.